with the economy for a moment now and there is more evidence of Nova Scotia's booming lobster fishery with the price at the wharf almost double that of recent years. They know it's resulted in surging sales of large pickup trucks in the home ports of the southern Nova Scotia lobster fleet. Paul Withers now from the dock in Yarmouth. This has been a really good year for the lobster fishery in Nova Scotia. Prices are up, the dollar is down, and the price of fuel is down. It's a perfect combination. I've actually had a really good year. Lance Cottrell enjoying one of those seasons where everything has gone right. This is all about the bottom dollar, right? It's not how much fish you catch, it's how much money you make doing it. You can see where some of that money is going, all those new trucks on the wharf. We're so tied into the, uh, the lobster industry. Jeff Little of Murray GM in Yarmouth says the booming lobster fishery is largely responsible for a 25% increase in large pickup truck sales in the southern end of the province. Overall, more than 600 were sold last year, the average costing about 45 grand. The uh, lobster fishermen have been doing uh, great this year. Uh, it's great to see. It's great for the whole community. And uh, when they do well, uh, the community uh, benefits. And of course, uh, as a uh, major supplier of uh, trucks, uh, we definitely benefit uh, as well. So we're definitely selling uh, uh, more trucks. It's continued in the first two months of 2016 when 130 large pickups were sold, a 46% increase, a far cry from 2008 when Jeff Little bought the dealership in time for GM to go bankrupt and the onset of a recession. In fact, there had been two solid years in a row. He opened a new dealership last April. We went through a number of years where it wasn't uh, that great. Uh, you know, there was some uh, downturn, lobster prices were down, and, uh, and all the businesses in town uh, felt that. And uh, now it's uh, going in the right direction, and, uh, and we're feeling it. Meanwhile, a pickup truck in Yarmouth tells another story. Alberta oil patch worker Matt Goodwin has come home. Basically, layoffs so out west, everything slowed down, so this is home. Where else do you go? He left four years ago as a deckhand on his father's boat. Now he's looking for work, at least until things pick up again out west. First of all, you, you pack up your whole life and leave it behind to go out there, and then you, you just get settled in, get something made, and then you got to pack that up and start over again. It's tired. Still, the boom here, easing the bust out west. Paul Withers, CBC News, Yarmouth. They like the trucks big. Well, the place is hot.